Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJ1234. Back again. And, um, this is a response to WK Dad's video. Help me build it. Crevo Control. Um, just wanted to give him some insight. Because this video really jumped out at me. Because Karibo is, like, my favorite monster. And the fact that he's building a deck around it. When usually all I did was, like, feature it in another deck. It's pretty cool. So, figured I'd help him out a bit. Uh, you might see these as sleeved because they were already in my Exodia build. Um, but anyway, Wing Karibo, Wing Karibo 10, and Transcendent Wings definitely should go in the deck. I don't know about uh, three of this because it really is a dead draw. Um,. There's a card that's really underrated that I don't see in a lot of decks. Hang on a sec. Where is it? Here. Card Trader. I don't see it in a lot of decks, but it really is underrated. Because this thing is a dead draw. It's powerful, but it's a dead draw. So maybe I would run it in two and keep a card trader in the deck. So if I draw it, Shuffle it right back, shuffle it right back in, get something else I need. Uh, but when Karibo 10 is a definite must in the deck, um, run it in two because I know that you can think off the top of your head three decks that swarm with big monsters. Off the top of your head, I'm sure. So when Karibo, run it in three, it's defensive. And with Berserk Crush, it can go offensive. And Transcendent Wings, of course. Um, but I would definitely hold out on Transcendent Wings until he gets, until my opponent gets something decent on the field. Then you blow it up. And he eats all the damage. Um, Karibo. You're running him in three, and that's cool. You got Dark on him in the deck, that's cool. I would use Multiply. Because it's defensive. It's very defensive. It's truly defensive. I know a lot of you are thinking, well, I'll just, I could just use scapegoat for all that. You can also attack with the tokens that you use for multiply. So you could use uh, Karibo, multiply. Well, let's say you clear his field out first. So you dark hole him, Karibo, multiply. And maybe unite we stand or something, and um, and swing, pretty much. Or even if you don't have unite we stand, that's still 1,500 points of damage. Um, and berserk crush, I like what you're doing with uh BLS, but um, I had a weird request for you. Um, I want you to take that out of the deck. I know it's a weird request, but um. I, I I really like that you're using the, um, an original idea. I love it. I'm all about originality. And it feels like BLS is just hanging on to that metagame. It's hanging on to it. And I want you to cut the umbilical cord and come over here into the light of originality. <laughs> it's so much better over here. But um, but yeah, Berserk Crush. But I love the idea. There's other big monsters to remove besides BLS. Uh, let's see. Uh, you run a Dark Arm. So you could Berserk Crush the Dark Arm. And uh, Wayne Karibo would get the attack point increase. Um, if you're having trouble finding this, it does come rare. I don't remember what DP... T is I don't remember what that is DPT I'll try to figure that out for you and put it in the description uh, but yeah but that's but I would love to see the deck when it's finished don't give up on it I might even come up with it myself <laughs> um, holla at me if you need if you like the advice or want any more assistance from me I'm the DJ1234 and I'm out.